everyone in this video i want to discuss what israel thinks of the united states funding both sides of the war that it is involved in right so the united states gives money and weapons to israel and they give at the very least they give money to iran they also probably give weapons to iran uh, and we know this because a lot of hamas is basically being discovered with m4s okay so how are you getting those m4s somehow or other the united states is funding hamas and you know most likely the path is through iran okay they're using iran as a as a proxy to fund hamas hezbollah and the hoodies so why would the united states be funding both sides of this war well uh, for one thing it is a good way for them to test new weapon technology you know how well are the israelis able to shoot down these incoming missiles you know with the technology with the united states and the weapons that the united states has provided israel so that would be one good reason another good reason is the united states wants to stay relevant in the middle east okay if uh, israel and iran made peace right there would be no point no purpose for the united states to be in the middle east so as long as there's a war going on right as long as there's hostilities there's a reason and there's a purpose for the United States to be in the Middle East. Okay, so the United States is always going to want to have, uh, is always going to be um, uh, instigating and 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 prompting, uh, you know, war in the Middle East. Okay, uh, so Iran is basically a proxy for the United States. Israel is a proxy for the United States, and they want to keep them fighting. Okay, um, so what does in this video I want to talk about what does Israel think of this? Because Israel is sophisticated enough right to be aware that they are being used okay maybe iran not right maybe iran is not aware that they're being used like this but israel absolutely is aware that they are being used like this um and you know again they've they've seen hamas with m4s right you know um so, it, so as far as i've seen right Israel is being pretty good about about knowing its place and playing its role. Okay, so United States, I'm sorry, Israel is like, okay, United States supports us, funds us, gives us money. Okay, what do they want us to do this year? Okay, to them it's just like, okay, this is our dues, right? This is part of the rent that we have to pay to the United States. They want us to go to war, we'll go to war, okay? So uh, now... I don't think that the United States expected Israel to react to the level that they did. Uh, they expected Israel to just probably throw in, a, you know, you know, just just do a couple of airstrikes, um, you know, shoot down incoming rockets, you know, for a couple of weeks, and that's it. Um, I think Israel decided to, you know, what within the rules of this game, let's one up them uh with a ground assault uh in gaza i do not think that the uh, u.s military had anticipated that I, I think they they seem genuinely surprised with that i think that they would prefer that wasn't happening um because they don't i don't think that the united states really wants israel to go into gaza and completely destroy hamas okay which is the thing that Israel is intent on doing. And Israel's like, hey, you know, you didn't say we couldn't do it, so we're going to do it, okay? So so that's Israel's take on this. You want us to play this war, you want us to play this game, we'll play the game, but we're going to we're gonna play this game all the way through to the end, okay? We're going to completely destroy the other side, which means that you, you know, the next time you want to have a war there, you're going to have to, you're gonna to have to completely rebuild Gaza. You're gonna to have to build them up from scratch. Um, so that's Israel's take. Uh, now, uh, look, you know, from Israel's position, as as long as they're being attacked by Hezbollah in in the Lebanon area and by the Houthis in the um, in the Yemen area, it makes sense for them. Okay, since they are already involved in this war, right? Have already mobilized troops it makes sense for them that as soon as they finish off hamas go do the same to hezbollah go do the same to the hoodies and what that will do is instead of delaying the next war for let's say i don't know five years right um it would delay it by 15 years or 20 years right because it would take 
the United, it would take the United States that much longer through Iran to rebuild Hamas, Hezbollah, and, and the hoodies. So, uh, again, this is Israel playing within the rules, right? You know, Israel was told that it has to have a law, right? It has to, you know, because basically they, 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 through Iran, Hamas was motivated to go and attack uh, Israel. Um, and again, I mean, I know that there was an election that was canceled in Gaza, and I'm where the politics of, hey, the, the person in charge of Gaza needed some type of a distraction. So he said, hey, you know, rather than be angry at me, why don't you, you go and attack Israel? But I think that that was, you know, you know, I mean, I, I think, I mean, why did this guy cancel this election? It was probably suggested to him by CIA that it might be a good idea to do so, okay? Um, so, again, I think everything is, is sort of, you know, the United States is basically the puppet master pulling the strings here. So, um, but that's where I think Israel's position is right in this, right? They're, they're aware that they are, you know, the, 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 that, they're, that, that the strings are being pulled, right, by the United States, that Iran's strings are being pulled, that all these Hamas, Hezbollah, hoodies are being, you know, their strings are being pulled. Uh, but within the freedom that they are allowed, they're like, okay, you know what? We're free to run in this, in this direction. We're going to run it, right? We're going to go all the way. We're going to completely destroy Hamas, um, which I don't think the United States was prepared for. And if if they're smart about it, I think that they should also do the same. I mean, not, not that I get a benefit out of it, but I think it is in their interest at the point where Hezbollah is launching rockets at them and the hoodies are, are, launching, are launching rockets at them, from their perspective, I think it makes sense to just completely wipe them out and, and at least know that, hey, for, you know, for that much longer, they don't have to deal with this, okay? Um, so, so, yeah, I've done, a, I've done a couple of videos on this, uh, again, without knowing any inside information, just kind of looking at the shadow uh, that's created um, and things I've covered in prior videos, basically there, there was kind of three world powers, United States, Russia, which was up here and I moved it down here, and China. Uh, China's role in this, I mean, they seem like they're talking to uh, Israel, it seems like they have economic relations with them. Um, I don't think that China really wants to rock the boat. They're just happy doing business um, with, with Israel and with the other Arab countries around them. Um, China's been... So supposedly threatening Taiwan. Uh, again, I, I think that, that that China is there, and I cover this in prior, China is there to keep the Asian comp, co countries in line, okay? China, Russia, uh, China threatening Taiwan um, means that Taiwan, Japan, South Korea will have to look to the United States for protection, okay? So China is the, the boogeyman over there, okay? Uh, and the proof in this is that, hey, we're doing, we're trading with China, right? General rule, you don't trade with enemies, you only trade with allies, okay? So again, this is looking beyond the news to the shadow that it casts, okay? So the shadow being cast here is, we're continuing to trade with China, that means that they're not an enemy, it means that they're an ally, okay? Uh, same thing with Iran, we're continuing, to, you know, we, we, we've been sending money to Iran, Obviously, they're not an enemy. They're an ally, okay? So we're on the same side with Iran. Um, Russia, again, I covered this in a different video. Uh, what I think happened with Russia is Russia pissed off the United States in Syria back during the Trump years. And the United States said, hey, you know what? Um, Russia doesn't belong here in the Middle East. Let's give them something else to think about. Uh, let's give them a war right on their border, Okay. Um, so I think they got, they, they, they forced the election in Ukraine, got Zelensky elected with instructions to basically start a war with, you know, to, with Russia, to do things that would irritate Russia enough that it would want to start a war, okay? So, so that, that got Russia busy with Ukraine. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I think Russia probably showed a lot of weakness in the way they were operating in, in Syria, Okay, and now even more weakness in the way that they're operating in Ukraine. Not that, not that um, you know, Russia can't defend itself in Ukraine, but if they're struggling that hard in Ukraine, which is on their border, um, they're, they're, not, they're obviously not going to be able, capable of projecting any significant strength 
you know, that any further beyond their borders, right? Because Ukraine's basically on their borders and they're struggling as much as they're struggling with that, okay? Um, so, the, and again, the, the I covered this in prior, prior videos. The benefit of this Russia Ukraine war is that it's scaring Europe, okay? And basically, Europe has been running to the United States, you know, for protection, okay? So, again, the United States stays relevant in Europe. So that's the reason why the United States would want Russia and Ukraine fighting because it scares the European countries. And all of a sudden, they're down, that's down here. They're basically running to the United States, right? They want that protection from the United States. Um, the one wild card in all this is, is Turkey because Turkey, it sees itself as, as a wannabe world power. Okay? Turkey, pr prior Ottoman Empire, wants to be up here, okay? So um, I think Russia, to some extent, is aware of its role, okay? It is aware of how it's being manipulated. They see what's happening in Europe. They see how Europeans are running to the United States. I th you know, Iran, Israel, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, they're all kind of aware of what's happening. You know what? They're like, okay, if this was going to be, this was going to be, you know, um, you know, because again, they're all they're all they're not that stupid, okay? So they're all kind of aware of what the United States is doing. They're all kind of to some extent they're trapped by it because they're taking US money, they want the US weapons. So if you're taking US money, you're taking US weapons, when the United States said, Hey, it's time for you guys to fight each other, you gotta fight each other, okay? You gotta play the war game. Um, Turkey is the only one that doesn't that, that that the United States doesn't seem to have a firm control of. Uh, because again, they want to be a world power again, they want to rebuild of the Ottoman Empire. So that's the one to watch. I've mentioned this in prior videos, okay? If they if they see an opportunity, um, you know, they'll, they'll take it, um, you know. So that, that, that's the one to watch, okay? And, uh, you know, again, they might try to make a deal with Iran. They might try to make a deal with, with Russia. Uh, they might, might try to make a deal with China. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, that's, that's the wild card. That's the one to watch. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys my opinion on, on Israel and what I think is going on over there, how I think that they see it. They see it as, hey, this is the game that has got to be played. We got to play our role. We're taking money from the United States. You know, we're taking weapons from the United States. When they say it's time to use it, we got to use them. Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll talk to you all soon.